I want to show you how this software works. I'm going to put in my grandson's name, Aaron. And his last name is Magro. Okay, you can put in Mrs., Miss, Miss, or Mr. You can leave it in default. There's already a name that's on the original. It can be so you can keep that. I'm going to name my name's Bunny Face. Create my story. Okay. Raise your hand if you have a pet that you'd like to tell us about, Miss Candy said. Aaron my mom's hand flew up along with several others. Aaron, what kind of pet do you have? Aaron thought for a moment. Um, I have a monkey, he replied. Cool, Lanny yelled. Aaron smiled. His name's Funny Face and he can do all kinds of tricks. He could see that he had the whole class's attention. He liked that. Well, I'm not going to read the entire book, but you can see we have a picture of a monkey since that's the animal that I chose. And Jacob discovers that lying is not the best policy. Many people love this book, and I'm sure that you and your child will too. But I do want to show you that if you start again and you choose a girl, let's choose Mary, and Anderson, example. And we want to change it to, let's say, a llama. And we'll name that llama Linda. Linda llama. Now we have Mary's llama. And we have a girl as the main character. And there's a llama. So you can see that this software can be a lot of fun. And if your child doesn't enjoy reading, he or she will enjoy reading this. Because it's got his or her name all the way to it. And some fun animals as well. So, go to mynameinthebook.com to try it out. You're going to love it. And here is your story link. You copy that and you share it. Look, there's Mary's Lama. My name in the book.com. Check it out.